Welcome back to this episode of Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by VaporCheap. In this episode, we'll be taking a quick look of the new DigiFlavor Drop Solo RDA. Like said in the introduction, I'll be taking a quick look and give you a first impression of the DigiFlavor Drop Solo RDA. This is an art atomizer that is a collaboration between YouTuber, The Vapor Chronicles, uh, TVC, and DigiFlavor. Uh, the original drop RDA was probably one of the most, and still one of the most popular RDAs on the market. It, it featured a unique uh, drop style build deck, as that, that's what people call it nowadays, uh, where you simply just drop your coils in and you can slip it from underneath, making coilless styles very easy. And it also brings forth like a lot of uh, uniqueness or customization when it comes to coil placement and the type of coils and how many coils, things of like that nature. Well, they're back now with the DigiFlavor Drop Solo RDA. Not sure, but I will be going um, down to show you guys a quick look at it. Um, if you guys haven't seen the original presentation video, uh, definitely go check that out on the TVC channel. He definitely goes like like into a lot of detail about the RDA and the differences and um, what it's really meant for. What I'm going to do is give you my first impression of what I personally think of this atomizer. I actually enjoy the drop, the original drop RDA a lot. Uh, that and the dead rubber were probably two of my favorite dual coil RDAs last year. Even though with those you can probably fit a single one, this one, the Solo, is more aimed towards a single coil rather than a dual coil and uh, it, it has some similarities to the original but it's a bit different as well so anyway let me um, go down right below let me go right below sorry let me take take, take the camera down below and give you a quick look of the DigiFlavor Drop Solo RDA alright so here we are up close with the DigiFlavor Drop Solo RDA just keep in mind this is the sample version uh, or sample box so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and included, you get um, a PMMA cap or a clear cap, whatever you want to call it, with a beauty ring, and then it's, it's in, uh, the stainless steel cap, which is pre, I guess, uh, installed, if you want to say that, on top of the build deck. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out real quick. Now, there are differences with the two caps. And uh, let me just take out the stuff that's underneath the box. Everything is here is quite tight. Um, obviously, you get a spear, you get an Allen key here, you get some coils to use in your uh, RDA if you wanted to. I'm actually going to use my own coils though. Uh, you get a ton of spears, you get a squawk pin, as you here you can see, gold plated. Uh, tons of screws, uh, that tri-tool thingy, a bunch of O-rings, different colored O-rings. Uh, 510 drip tip adapter, and yeah, the usual stuff uh, in pretty much any RDA. And then you get the PMMA uh, beauty ring. It's really great how um, all this stuff is included, especially for the price point. I think it's like 30, 35 bucks. It's not bad. And then here's the clear uh, PMMA cap, which is, you see a lot of these lately. It's a really popular kind of accessory. You see it says solo here. I'm not sure you can see that. And it says drop right there. This actually has less airflow holes than the stainless steel. As you can see, the top, the T, you, if you want to call it that, the top of the T is not uh, there. So I'm going to go ahead, and, well, let me show this thing the steel cap comes with. Uh, the drip tip that's on this one, uh, apparently a lot of people don't like this drip tip. Uh, I actually enjoy this drip tip, I think it's very comfortable. Uh, they're wide enough bore, quite tall, and not like too low. But with the stainless steel top cap, as you can see here, you have you know, that, that signature drop airflow. You have that T on both sides. Now, whatever you adjust on one side will adjust on the other side. You also have um, kind of like a notch here, so it's always in the right position. and makes, when you're adjusting your airflow, you know, you're not moving the top cap. It makes it, uh, or, or, you know, with sometimes with some RDAs when they don't have like a latch or a locking design like this, um, when you sometimes when you turn the airflow, the top cap actually moves or the, the RDA starts to spin off, etc. So having this design is really nice. Um, See, so it says solo here, it says drop here. The design is a little bit different. This has a different uh, drip tip. This is actually really nice as well, comfortable. 
and this is an A10 drip tip as you can see here also um, how the airflow is set up it's kind of like a step design if you want to call it that like, just like the original drop uh, really uh, where you could close off you start closing off the holes one at a time so the, the major thing about this RDA let me put this on a mod real quick um, to take off the top cap actually no, let me leave it on the mod so actually this mod is like gigantic this is the Bassium so it doesn't come pre-installed with a squonk pin uh, something I would have liked seeing it's a very minimal thing but um, you know I, I'm a squonker myself I very I much enjoy squonking so I would have liked seeing that um, but it does protrude a lot so you can use it on a hybrid if you wanted to just you know make sure obviously when if you were to do that make sure the pin is protruding but if you look at the build deck um, it's very similar to the original drop except two posts are gone from this side so you just have two posts on one side and I actually like the idea instead of having kind of the two offset posts because um, kind of like the Dead Rabbit SQ even though that works well this gives it a lot of room and a lot of different possibilities of different coil uh, positioning positions uh, different uh, coil builds how big you want the coil to be uh, things like that because um, you're going to have airflow passing through this way and then you're going to have airflow, pa uh, airflow passing through your post here. So it's hitting the coils in multiple uh, you know, directions. You got the airflow hitting here, you got the airflow hitting here and depending on where your coil is sitting the airflow could kind of travel underneath um, which is a good thing or even hit the top if you wanted to and um, yeah so you have airflow hitting all over the coil so obviously your coil will sit right in the middle you could install the coil with two um, your two legs uh, uh, going in here and then pulling the coil over well I'll show you my build uh, when I throw a build in here uh, you can have like a vertical coil you can have stacked dual coils you could do a whole bunch of crazy stuff uh, with this building it, now it might it might look simple but in reality uh, it gives for a lot of different possibilities of what you can really do uh, with the build deck so like I said I don't want to like stay too long down here I just wanted to give you like a first uh, impression quick look of the drop solo like I said it comes with a lot of different stuff here so you see the PMA cap yeah, that's the top cap for the stainless, stainless cap the build deck uh, a bunch of extras uh, so you know it's a good um, investment you can say in regards to like how much stuff you get a uh, good bargain so what I'm going to do really quickly is throw a build in in mine and uh, and show you it. All right, so here's the coil build uh, I've put in here. Don't mind how it looks. I've been using it uh, a little bit actually. Um, I have it sitting on top of the Omoy OC and Desire Rage Squonk mod. This is a rather, I would say, thick fuse clapped in. As you see, I didn't show you guys with the squonk pin, but if you can see, the squonk pin is elevated uh, elevated quite a bit, um, which, you know, can be a negative thing, but you can saw down if you want to. Personally, I've had no issue with it, and plus you could squonk like a good amount of e-juice um, and have a little bit left over until uh, it you know, gets sucked back down into the bottle. But anyway, with this, this is a quad-core fuse clapped in. Uh, it owns out around the 0 0.22. And you see, I put both the legs in through the top, screwed them in, and then I've pulled them over. So uh, you don't have to do it that way. You actually put one leg under, one leg over, and it'll probably look a little bit better. Um, you could probably do it both from underneath. You could, I mean, but the reason why I like doing it from the top because the squonk pin is quite elevated, like I said, and this kind of like ensures further that you won't be touching the pin. So, um, you know, obviously you don't want to touch the pin because you'll create a short. So, but like I said, for me, it hasn't really been much of an issue, and um, it really doesn't bother me. And this build has, I didn't really, haven't really had any issues with this build or installing it. Um, just make sure when you install it like this, you leave the legs a little bit longer so you have the room to, to pull, pull it over um, into the middle of the build deck. And you kind of, this is the coil height too that I preferred at. It's kind of like right, I would say, at, towards the top of the post. Um, this is where I found so far to be uh, what I like. Um, like I said, you could do a vertical coil. You could do all kind of crazy coil builds. I'm pretty sure you'll see a whole bunch on like Instagram or Facebook. So anyway, I'm going to whip this up, uh, juice it up, put some juice in the squamp bottle. I'll let you know 
uh, how when I think about it. So now we're back up top. I have the Drop Solo RDA sitting on the Rage Squonker by Omboy OC and Desire. So, like I said in, in the up close, I didn't want to go like too much in depth, as in there's plenty of videos that kind of like go into detail, especially uh, TVC's, his video goes into extreme detail of the RDA and everything about it. So, I really want to give you my first impressions of it. Now, I have plenty of like flavor chasing RDAs, like single, ch single coil RDAs that are very compact, very short with an ultra condensed chamber that, um, that's all about flavor. That's meant for flavor. Personally, you know, the way I like to vape is like that where, um, you know, a, a squawking RDA, 22 millimeter, um, that's fairly compact and, you know, has a low profile design. Um, so I'm going to give you my compare, I'm going to compare this to kind of those. Although I will say this is kind of like different. It's not, I wouldn't call it like a, you know, cause even when you look at it, it's not, it's not the same as those other smaller RDAs that kind of, you know, all fit that niche of people who, who like to vape that way. This is kind of more in the meat, uh, the middle, you could say where it could kind of fit, uh, both type of vapors, you know, like people who like good flavor, uh, want a lot of airflow kind of thing. But anyway, um, I have some of this juice in there, a junkie stash, a chill day. This is like, uh, like a peach tea flavor. It's uh, really, really good. I've been vaping it for a couple months, so I know exactly how it tastes. And uh, it's, it's one of my all-day vapes currently. So anyway, I have that same fuse clapped and you saw in there. I'm going to take off the top cap uh, real quick just to show you. So everything is wicked up. Uh, this is at 55 watts. And you see how fast, you know, like with a single coil at only 55 watts, which is, you know, not like a whole lot, but it's still a lot to some vapors. Uh, but you can see how fast... It says like no wrap up time whatsoever. So uh, I'm gonna let you know how well I think of the airflow wide open with the stainless steel top cap. Now, right away for me, honestly, this is it's just too much airflow with it with it all the way open with the the whole T shape with the four airflows at the very top and the six underneath it. It's just, honestly, unless you have like a really, really huge build in there, I mean, I don't know how big of a build you're going to put in there, but you can. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a lot of airflow um, to, for, for the coil build I have there. Maybe, like I said, if you have like, like two dual coils in there, like stacked or vertical coil, maybe, uh, or just like a really huge diameter coil, maybe. But um, at, at higher watts, because the, the vape with this at 55 watts is rather cool, actually. I see plenty of vapor, though. And like I said, this is a very, very uh, cool vape. So what I'm going to do is shut the airflow down. The top holds down. Sorry, the, the, the O-rings are really tight when you first get it. I'm actually going to splunk, too. So, like, with that squat, I know you can't see it, but, you know, juice kind of reaches that top, um, the top, well, the bottom two holes. But I don't really get any leaking at all. I haven't got any leaking using this for the past couple of days um, as, like, my daily dripper. So, I still have it around a 0 0.22 ohm build at 55 watts. This is what the top airflow goes now, that, the T. Now that adds a bit of warmth. I did get a little bit of spit back. I mean, of course, if you over squonk like, like I just did, I just literally filled up the whole thing. Um, the restriction is there now. You have a lot more restriction. Um, the, the vape is a little bit warmer. I think 54 watts is still like low um, for this type of build. Like I said, it, it wraps up quick, but it's still kind of um, cool. I, I like a bit of more of a warmer vape. But um, with the airflow like that, you know, it adds that restriction and the, the flavor is a lot better, like a whole lot better in my opinion. I think with the airflow like fully open with a stainless steel cap, it's just, the, the, the flavor is not like great. It's okay, but it's not like great how it is right now. The flavor right now is very good. And you see, plenty of vapor and I got uh, spit back in my phone. I don't know how... 
uh, Siri reacts to what I just said. But anyway, um, yeah. So the flavor is good with the with the um, with the airflow like that. And let me cut it down just a little bit more now. So now I have the just the bottom two airflow hole open. If you can see it, just the bottom two. So the whole T at the top is closed, and then the two holes under that. Oh, for me, that's just a little too tight. Um, but it's, that's like really restrictive. Um, but the flavor is really good still. I want to say it's like better than how how I just had it. It's definitely better than with it fully open, of course. But um, yeah, the flavor overall for this with this top cap is very good. Uh, is it the best flavor I ever had? No. Um, I think like I like I said, me personally, I, I'm into much like reduced chamber RDAs, um, and the flavor from those are just like a little bit better, like just a little bit more sharper in the flavor notes, but. This is not saying by any means the flavor on this is bad. The flavor is actually very, very good. And when you could start to compare uh, this RDA to to other ones that are kind of like advertised as flavor chasing, say like the Karma, the Hadley, the Entheon. Um, I have the Venom by DNV. I have uh, the Air Lab. There's plenty of uh, flavor chasing RDAs that I own that, you know, the flavor is better. And, you know, it's kind of expected because how little those RDAs are and how it's designed. With this, you're still getting very, very good flavor. Um, just not there yet, but it's still, you know, like I said, when you compare the pricing, this is like 35 bucks. Those are like 80 90 $100 RDAs. So you can buy like three of these <laughs> with just buying one of those. So, you know, these are all the kind of things you have to put into consideration and factor in when you're, you know, kind of comparing them. But like I said, I wouldn't necessarily... Uh, you like have this RDA as like a direct competitor um, to those because those are kind of designed for just that and this to me is kind of like a best of everything really so what I'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna go get the clear top cap and let you know what I think about it so now I've got the clear cap uh, or the PMMA cap now one thing I forgot to mention uh, this cap is just a little bit shorter than the stainless steel cap. So, you know, it has more of that uh, condensed kind of thing going on. Uh, I, I personally like the way the PMA looks. Uh, also, I forgot to mention this RDA is available in three different colors. You got this uh, stainless steel, you have a gold, and the black. The black one looks really nice. Even though this stainless one looks good, I'm not a big fan of the gold one. That's just a personal preference. But anyway, uh, I have the airflow wide open. Uh, like like I said in the in the up close portion, this has less airflow holes available uh, in comparison to the stainless steel cap. This this one doesn't have like that top row, the top four for the T. So anyway, I have it the same watts, 60 watts. At uh, now it's reading at 0 0.24. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Let's see now. With for with this cap. This is actually the way I prefer the Vapus RDA um, is with the PM makeup. I feel like the flavor is just a little bit better um, than the stainless steel one. It doesn't get, and the other cap didn't get hot by any means, but this one, um, I guess it doesn't attract as much heat uh, and it dissipates it quickly uh, from my experience. I, I like the way it looks, even though like you'll see like juice around it or whatever. Um, I'll be using it for a bit, like I said, so you're going to probably see it. But uh, you can use it wash it and clean it out and make it look good, like pictures or whatever. Um, you know, you have the black O-rings. You can change them out to clear O-rings if you want to because that's included. Uh, this drip tip, like I said, uh, apparently a lot of people don't like this drip tip. I like it. It's very comfortable. And it's just, I don't know, it's just something about it that I just like. Now, that's with the airflow wide open. I see plenty of vapor. Um, there's like no kind of uh, slacking when it comes to vapor with this RDA. Of course, that depends on your lungs and what build you have, what waters, etc. But um, the flavor is very, very good. It's very pronounced. Um, it's still not, um, I would say, as good as some of the uh, other kind of RDAs I use in my daily rotation in regards to flavor. Uh, and this is just speaking strictly of flavor. I'm just being honest here. Um, but I still think the flavor is still 
very good and, and comparable to the other ones as well. I want to like count this out when it comes to flavor. It's just, it's good. It's very good. I'll say like, I don't want to read it, man, because it's subjective flavor and then the type of juice, the type of coil and all that. But I mean, it's definitely comparable. It's just maybe just a notch, like a very, like, like just a little bit less than the other ones that I'm used to and I vape uh, every day. But still, man, this RDA performs really well. Um, it's easy to build on. Now, I do want to close off the airflow from the top cap, I mean the clear cap. So now I have the, just the four holes open. Yeah, that's a little bit too restrictive for me. Um, but while I actually like this top cap, it's just closing one airflow. So you have four at the bottom and just one at the top. That for me is like the perfect, per, excuse me, perfect restrictiveness. Um, the warmth is there. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm impressed by the, the, the drop solo RDA. I think it's all around a very good RDA, especially for the money. I mean, like I said, 30, 35 bucks. I have links in the description to some shops that are carrying it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is in stock or going to be in stocks very, very soon. Uh, depends on when, I, when this video is launched, of course. But by the time this video launches, it's probably going to be in stock. So I, I do think I'm going to continue to evade this RDA. I, it's probably going to go in my rotation um, of RDAs that I use every day. I personally actually like this better than the original drop RDA. I know, um, I mean, that's going to depend on you uh, if you like single coils or because um, this is kind of aimed towards single coils rather than dual, even though you can do it. Um, so if you if you're into single coil builds and and you, you you don't like very reduced chamber, very short or small atomizers, and you want one that just has more airflow available, uh, this is it. I mean this this provides that. And uh, for the, like I said, for the price, you just can't go wrong. Uh, there's nothing con wise. I you know honestly, I, it's hard to find any real cons. I mean with this RDA, uh, it's just, it comes with a lot of stuff. Maybe the squonk pin being too high, um, that could be a con, you know, just be careful when you're building it. Uh, I think with the, with the stainless steel cap, I think the four airflow holes at the top, it was just, to me, it's unnecessary. But, I mean, the thing is, you can close it off. It's not like you can't. So, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, to have it. Some people might want all that airflow and, and prefer that way to vape where there's hardly any restriction. So... It's probably a good thing that it's there. Now, for me, like I said, I wouldn't care if it was there or not because I don't use it. And I, I prefer this. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps you with um, deciding your next single coil RDA. Uh, I do think a lot of people who buy this are going to be happy with it. I, there's, honestly, there's, there's nothing really like bad or negative about it. I think TVC and Digiflavor did an excellent job with this RDA. I think it's a great follow-up to the original drop. With, with the market kind of going back to 22 millimeter uh, smaller RDAs, you know, it's good that they, they, they took initiative and, and, and you know, released a, a, a single coil version. I think a lot of people are actually probably hoping for one and, you know, it's here now. So with all, with all that being said, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. I hope it helps you. Like I said, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and uh, keep it cloudy.